everyone, it's Crystal with Catching Up with Crystal. Can you keep up with me? Because you never know where I'm going to be. I thought it was appropriate to wear this shirt today. I bought this in Baltimore at the airport. It says, I make my ancestors proud. I thought this shirt would be appropriate to wear today because today those 23andMe results are in. We are going to find out what I am made of. Now, why is it called 23andMe? So we each have 46 chromosomes. You get 23 from your mom, 23 from your dad. Now, what I know to be true about my family is, obviously, when you look at me, I am a black woman. This is not natural red hair. I am a black woman that lives in the United States. So there is a great chance that I am descendants of slaves, which I already know this to be true. Um, what I also know is that my mother is mixed with, uh, she has always said that she was Irish, so I will not be surprised, um, to find out that I have any Caucasian blood in me. Um, I will not be surprised to find out that I have any Indian in me. My grandmother's grandmother was a hundred percent Mississippi Choctaw, so I won't be surprised to find that out. So... I will not be surprised to find out that I am black. I will not be surprised to find out, or oh, excuse me, that I am African or African descent. I will not be surprised to find out that I am Irish because my mother always said that we were Irish. She said her grandfather was Irish, so I won't be surprised to find that out. And I won't be surprised to find out that I am um, any American Indian. Okay, so with all that being said, let me get this out the way. Please hit that bell notification so that you are notified when new content is posted. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it. And let's get right into it now. Okay, here we go. All right, so here are the results. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, so I got an email that said uh, my 23 results, 23 and me results were in. And so I opened the email and it gave me um, a report. And so this is right here called my ancestry composition. Okay, so this breaks down everything that I am. So let's go through it. Let's get right into it. So it says that the first category is Sub-Saharan African. It says that I am 79.4% Sub-Saharan African. Now, am I surprised by that? Eh, I suspect it by looking at myself in the mirror every day when I brush my teeth that I might have been a little bit African, might have been a little bit cotton picking um, going on in my family history. So let's click on this arrow and it gives you a breakdown of the sub-Saharan African composition that I am. So it says that I am 66.5% West African. And then it goes on to say I am 30.2% Nigerian. Okay, that's interesting to know. I do have a few Nigerian friends and they had told me that I looked Nigerian to them. And the only thing that I knew was my great grandmother um, supposedly was from a French island off the coast of Africa, I was told. Now, um, that is interesting because West Indians come up to me a lot and tell me that I look West Indian and my from an island. And I always say, my grandmother was from a French island off the coast of Africa. I'm not sure. Somebody correct me on my geography. I believe she said that it was Madagascar. Was Madagascar ever a French colony? I'm not sure. But anyway, I digress. And that's not why you're here for the video. You're here to find out what crystal is made up of. Other than sugar and spice and everything nice. Okay, so... I am 66.5% Nigerian. I am 28.4% from Ghana. From, it says Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leone. So we know that those were slave trade countries. Um, okay, let's see what else is going on. I am 2% Senegambian or Guinean. 
And broadly, West African, 5.9%. Okay. It also says that I am 12.8 Congolese and Southern East African descent. And then it says I am 0.4%. Here we go. Southeastern African. Okay. And then it says I am 1.5% broadly Congolese and Southeast Africa. So I guess it's breaking it down even finer. Moving on, here we go. We're at my European descent. Now, I am 79.4% Sub-Saharan African. It broke it down. I am primarily West African. A large component of me, I am 30.2% Nigerian. So shout out to my Nigerian brothers and sisters out there. Um, I will take a trip to Nigeria and see if I can track uh, down some family members. European. I am 18.5% European. Does that surprise me? No, does not surprise me. Remember, I said my mother said that she was Irish. Her grandfather was Irish. Somebody had gotten to the slave house back then. My mother is a fair-skinned woman and my dad is a chocolate drop with wavy hair. So let's break this down. What is Crystal made of? She's 18.5% European. Okay, she is 18% Northwestern European. So half of that 18.5% is British and Irish. So there is some truth to what my mom said. My mom is 25% white. That's been established. Okay, so I am 9.2% British and Irish. I'd like a spot of tea, please, at top of the morning to you, don't you know? Is that racist because I just put on a British accent and an Irish accent? Um, <laughs> I apologize if I offended anyone in advance. I am French and German. I am 4.3% French and German. Now, I love anything that has to do with French history, background, culture, so... Maybe this explains the draw to the French culture for me. So half of me is British and Irish of the 18.5% of me that I am composed of European descent. Um, and, and of that, barely anything of French and German. 2.2% Scandinavian. I hate the cold. How did that get in there? That's not a, a bold... A uh, component of my genetic history because I do not enjoy the cold. I do not like outdoor cold sports. None of that. So, okay. So I am made up of 9.2% British and Irish. I'm 4.3% French and German. I'm 2.2% Scandinavian. 2.3% Northwestern European. And I guess it goes on to break it down to, this is very interesting, Southern European. I'm 0.3%. And look at this, Spanish and Portuguese. Look at this, I'm 0.3%. Now, that is interesting because on 23andMe, you can message people who you create or match with. It's called um, you genetically matched with them and you can create a family tree. So a girl reached out to me and she is in Brazil and she said that, um, well, we we are obviously related because the DNA came back, but we share four, it said fourth generation grandparents. So great, great, great grandparents we share. There is a connection between Brazil and the slave trade. So the Africans, um, Africans uh, in Brazil can track themselves back to um, the slave trade. And there is stories where Africans in the United States made their way to South America when they would escape the plantation. So everybody didn't run north, some people ran south. And then I found another cousin on there from Portugal. So we also share uh, fourth generation grandparents. So, hola mi familia. Hola, yo me amo es Crystal. So that is very interesting. Okay, moving on. Here we go. East Indian and Indigenous American. 
So remember, I said I would not be surprised if I found out that there was any American Indian in me. My great-grandmother, no, great-great-grandmother, would have been my grandmother's grandmother, was 100% Mississippi Choctaw. Now this says I only have 1% East, in, East Asian or indig Indigenous American in me. So... I mean, when you look at my mother, you can see it all over her, but I guess it's washed out in me. And then remember, now I have 23 of my father's chromosomes. I have 23 of my mother's chromosomes, but that doesn't mean that I got equal traits from each of them. Meaning when you look at me, I look like my father's family, even though I'm my mother's child too. The genetic disposition that was passed on to me, I inherited a lot of that from my father. And you could tell just by looking at me when you look at his family. So let's break this bad boy down to, let's crack this egg open. So I am East Asian and Indigenous American, 1%. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see what that's. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this! I am Chinese and Southeast Asian, 0.6%. Now... I think the Chinese word for hello is ni ha. So ni ha. Ni ha, my, my Chinese Southeast Asian family. That is a shocker. Chinese what? What? <laughs> what? I don't know where that came from. Um, but I am 0.6% Chinese Southeast Asian. Okay. Look at this. I am. 0.4% Filipino and Austronesian. I never heard of Austronesian. I'm going to have to look that up. 0.2% um, broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian. And I'm 0.4% indigenous American. Okay, so I am 0.4% American Indian. I guess that's what that's picking up on. Um, but I am mostly Chinese out of this 1%. Isn't that awesome? That is so crazy. That is so crazy and unexpected. Now, people look at me. When you look at me and you meet me in person, I have a red tint to my skin. And people comment on that all the time. And they comment on my cheekbones. And they comment on my hair texture. And um, they comment on my eyes. Now, I always thought that I inherited all of those traits from my indigenous American, Native American um, descendants. But... You never know where your chemical makeup or biological makeup um, will lead you to. So this is awesome. That is something I didn't know and I'm going to be excited to share with my family. Okay, so now we are on Western Asian and North African. What is that about? So I'm 0.5% North African and 0.3% Central and Central and South Asian, I'm 0.3%. So I am Southern Indian and Sri Lankan. Huh. That is interesting. How did my family, how did this happen? How did this happen? Very interesting. Now... I'm going to go back up to the top. So it says ancestry composition. And here, if I click this tab here that says see full report, I'll be able to compare my DNA to populations around the world. So let's click on this. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. So see this color here, the purple? It's coinciding with the colors in my... Um, the color scheme here. Okay, so let's click on this. See full report here. And then we'll be able to compare this with the other populations around the world. So see where the color map here is? It coincides with the color map here. So it says I am 79.4% sub-Saharan. See the color there, the purple? So that's where the Nigerian and the sub-Saharan um, African compare, uh, uh, components come from these regions in the world, okay? And this is my European history, and then this would be my Asian history. So did I learn anything, guys? 
Did I learn anything? Yes, I am so surprised that I am Chinese. Would I recommend this to anybody else to, to do 23andMe? I would recommend that you do it. It's, it's interesting to find out um, who you are. Is it different than what you thought you were? Um, sometimes our family, you know, there's folk history in our family and, and the story may change over time and it's been passed down so many times that by the time it gets to you, it's no longer the truth or it resembles a portion of the truth. I would recommend it. Now, what I did not like about Ancestry, I mean, excuse me, what I did not like about 23andMe was that they asked me to provide a lot of information. So they asked me questions about diseases that I had, conditions that I had, if I had any children, family history, all of these things that I said, well, what am I paying you for? If I am submitting my DNA, shouldn't you tell me what I'm predisposed to? Shouldn't you be able to give me the information instead of asking it for me? But I got my genetic test results back. Um, I did learn some new things about them. I'm going to share them with my family. And like I said, I would recommend 23andMe to anyone who's interested in doing it. Now, I have already completed my Ancestry.com before I did 23andMe. I will do another video comparing the two. There are differences. There are, they are not exact. And you would think that that should be an exact match, but it's not. So stay tuned for that video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Can you keep up with me? Because you never know where I'm going to be. This is Catching Up with Crystal signing out. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when new content is posted. Do y'all like this shirt? I make my ancestors proud. I hope I did today. Thank you guys. Peace out. Life is what you make it, so make the most out of life.